a modern day equivalent to Gorgeous Carrot Galaxy, except for one's straight and the other one's gay. Ooh, yaoi review. Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today I'm here to talk to you about Yellow, Volume 1, by Makoto Toteno. We'll read the back and we'll delve into it and get into the nitty gritty. Takai and Ga Taki and Go share just about everything. Their apartment in the city, their job as elite drug snatchers, and their dinner duty. But Hot Go wants to go deeper undercover into the gorgeous partner. Too bad Taki doesn't swing that way. Or does he? If yellow is a, the way, warning color, will this team finally end up in the red? And in bed? Boys will be boys, and this hot guys of yow, yellow... <laughs> Yellow are no exception. An illicit thrill ride from cover to cover. This hip drama turns up the heat on every page and guarantees to get your heart fired up. This is rated M for Mature, so 18 plus. It's published by DMP Digital Media Publishing. This is... Now, with this one, let's start with art style because I, I want to delve into it really bad. It, it's black and white. It does scream late 2000 kind of anime look. It reminds me of the classic Sailor Moon when it first came out. Very much so, it has that very kind of 80s classic anime manga style. It does not scream that it's new, it's fresh, it's hip. It kind of screams that my hip hurts, but I liked it. It's not a bad style. I grew up with it, so I'm not going to complain about it. This style holds a lot of nostalgia for me. Now, I will tell you right off the bat, the art style is appealing, everybody's well depicted. Some cases I found it difficult to identify was who was who, but that's partially the fact that I'm not observant and I don't pay attention to the little things sometimes when I'm reading these. Especially when the plot's good, sometimes I don't pay attention to the little things like the pictures. So, let's delve into the plot. It starts relatively slow, You're, you have to kind of take a beat to get used to the boys in the story and i'll tell you there's definitely a huge split um you do have taki which is the more which is the heterosexual one he's kind of tight laced not tight and he's kind of just that kind of straight laced character then you have go who's a little more of the comedic relief he's a little more interesting to look at he's a little more interesting to see and then we start delving into a darker past between the two boys where they might actually have had a sexual relationship and personally, I think that's where it kind of hooked me was I was like, whoa. I mean, there were plenty of rapey moments. 90% of this has a rapey moment throughout it. But it was still really good. Um, the plot does develop. It has like three stories in it. And each one has a beginning, a middle, and the end. So it doesn't feel like you're being rushed through it. Each story has a different love interest in it. Each story has a different premise to it. Again, they're all always going for the same thing, which is drugs. So, it, it is what it is. I loved it. I did thoroughly enjoy it. Um, I would say that if you're interested in the kind of thing where you're like, whoa, okay, cool. And I bet you they're going to hook up really soon. It, it's very much so that sort of thing. And I think you guys would enjoy it personally. I loved it. So, I would encourage you guys to check it out. If you've read it before, let me know. I'm really curious to know what you think. I really thoroughly liked it. I loved it, actually. So I'm going to be reading the rest of them. And I know they released the omnibus of this not too long ago. So, yeah, it's a two-volume omnibus. So if you guys have read this before, let me know. Give me a like, a favorite, subscribe, share this with a friend who likes Yowie, and I'll talk to you guys later. You Bye. like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!